Hello everyone, this is Becca from Watch Becca Plan, and I just want to do a quick overview of things that have changed in my planner. Um, I, my son's school gets out at, at the end of, in the beginning of June, and I don't know how often I will be able to film videos, but I'm going to try. So this might be the last video for a little while, um, but I wanted to give an update on what I have changed in here. Um, so this is still, I'm still in my file effects, Holborn, um, impersonal. I love it. I don't see myself changing. There was things about my Moterm personal Lux, um, that I wanted to change. And even though I loved it, there was things that I didn't like about it, but this planner cover there's not really anything I would want to change about it. I love how thin it is. I love how it fits. It has the perfect ring size for me. It's just, it's perfect in every way. And I don't see myself changing out of it. I like how stiff it is. It's not floppy, sturdy to write with when I'm like out in the car and I have to write something down or like, you know, on a phone call or something. So I don't see myself changing out of this anytime soon. So, it's just little changes on the inside. Um, everything in the pockets is still the same, except for a new appointment card that I don't show anyway. Um, this is a design I found on Canva, and I just printed it on photo paper and then laminated it. And I put one of my freebie calendar card uh, things, and I didn't, I didn't uh, print it on sticky note. I just printed it on paper and put it up in there and it has the Pokemon Go schedule on it because I was testing out monthlies again <laughs> and I needed a place for that information. Um, and then the back side and then my name um, acetate that I made. Um, my first divider is notes. Um, and then I have one of my freebie dashboards. And then um, notes pages, uh, another one of my freebie dashboards. This is a plan with B color coding freebie. Um, I stick it on there to cover up what's on the inside of the page because that's my contact reference page. It has a lot of personal information and phone numbers and stuff. So I use it to cover that up, but it is important information that I reference quite often. There's that. Um, and this is a uh, Peanuts Planner Co. Acetate. I always get them on Black Friday. I always get a set of dividers, some acetate, and some post-it notes on Black Friday. So these are those. And the reason why it's this, this way instead of this way is I could get two Franklin Covey Compact size dashboards out of a letter size acetate. And then the bottom half is four inch, just shot, just over four inches. So I could use the bottom half as these um, acetates that fit in this because personal plus, and I wouldn't waste it. So I got to use the whole letter size sheet of acetate instead of just putting down Franklin Covey ones that I already had. Um, home project list. Grocery guide that I made. That's a new one. Um, car maintenance log. This is my watch back a plan section. It's just got a list of stuff I want to do. Um, I made a new monthly Insta post thing um, and Instagram, YouTube, and monthly top stuff because I <laughs> I'm not good at tracking it. I'm new to social media content creation. I haven't done it in many years. I used to back in the day, um, my channel was Crazy Little Fish, and I did a bunch of videos on my planners back then, but I haven't done them in many years, and now I'm Instagram and all kinds of stuff. So I'm not very good at tracking that stuff, and I probably won't be. I'm just, I just post when I want to post, and I do what I want to do when I want to do it. Um, these are my, in my insert stuff so every friday i've been trying to release a freebie every friday 
because that way I can kind of take my time and make sure it's perfect before I release it. And so I made this insert and um, you're going to get some to hints for what tomorrow's is going to be and what the next Friday's is going to be because um, my birthday's coming up. So um, social media, just every month on the last day of the month, I track what my social media numbers are just so I can watch it grow because I like to see the data. Um, this is one of my freebies for Mother's Day. Printed on acetate. My second section is agenda. This is a free, this is a, um, post-it note I just made the other day. And I thought it was so cute. I shared it on, um, Instagram. And it might or might not be one of the freebies that I release tomorrow. You'll have to wait and see. But, <laughs> um... I uh, I thought that was so funny. Um, yearly fold out, um, tracking important things that happen. Yearly overview with trash days and paydays. This is my master um, master plan. Has my word of the year, my big goals, um, a twenty twenty four bucket list, yearly planning routine, holidays. Um, birthdays and how, uh, birthdays and anniversaries and stuff like that and tasks that need to be done on certain months, on certain, every, every year they have to be done. Um, my monthly planning, monthly review and monthly reoccurring tasks, weekly planning, weekly review, weekly, um, reoccurring to do's, daily planning, and then daily agenda. These are my review questions for, um, I have it set up so that I can do, I can just add in whatever time frame it is. So like, what was the best moment of this week, this month, this year? Um, and that way I can use the same questions, but just add in what they, what time frame they're referencing for the question. Um, this is my information breakdown of how information goes through my system. Um, it looks crazy, but it is actually not that bad. Um, the main part is this file folder system, physical items, because I have a very specific way because I get a lot of physical mail and it needs to be filed or it needs to like paperwork that needs to be filled out and sent back or, you know, things I get a lot of physical stuff in the mail that needs to be taken care of. So I have to have a, a very robust system for that, which I do. So that's just the information trickle of that. But for my actual planner, it's just these projects and tasks and appointments and events. Um, routines, just random routines that I need to, um, I like having written down. Um, and then cleaning to do's and room based cleanings. And then this is my, Monthlies, um, these are Peanuts Planner Co. 161, I think. Um, and these are in Franklin Covey compact size, and I just trim down the sides a little bit, and they fit Personal Plus perfectly. Um, this is a monthly I was trying to work on. Um, it might be released in June sometime. I'm still tweaking it a little bit and working on it. Um, I don't know if it will replace my... I don't love anything as much as I love this monthly. So I haven't been able to create anything I love more than that. So <laughs> I'm trying, but it's a process. So um, maybe one day. Uh, my master to-do list, my cleaning tracker for the last couple months, my quarterly cleaning tracker, which is the, this is a freebie in my freebies folder. This is a freebie in my freebies folder. This is my quarterly cleaning tracker. It has, um, air, mine has a bigger section, but the one, these are all, the rooms are all even. And you can have the room, what quarter it was done in, and what the tasks were over here. So that each quarter you can track off when you did certain quarterly cleaning things. Um, so I have that for 2024, and then on the back is 2025. And then starts my May weeklies. Um, this is... The first week, week 18, and then I've been really loving these dailies a lot. Um, a lot, a lot. Um, 
and I made some sticky notes. These are sticky notes I made, and you can use, this is a tip I shared on Instagram. You can print sticky notes and then use repositionable glue sticks and make them a sticky note. So you can take any piece of paper and make it a sticky note. Um, you have to, once you put the glue stick on, you have to let it dry or else it'll get tacky on your, whatever you stick it on. So you got to like put the glue stick on it and then let it sit there. I usually let it sit there for about 10 or 20 minutes and then I stick, I can stick it onto whatever I want, but it is great. I love it. Um, very handy too. <laughs> um, week 19 dailies dailies mother's day weekly mother's day i've been really loving these dailies they've been awesome i made these um shit to do things they're the perfect size to just pop in here um this week these days um i redid my card and did my moon tracker key on this side and then my symbol key on this side I do a mix, so I do a mix of bullet journaling, Franklin Covey system, and just a mix mash of like GTD, like all my favorite things from all the systems I know of. I just mix them all together and take the things I like from those systems and use them. So like mine is a very mixed up kind of thing. So I use a dot for a task. I use um, a bigger like cir closed in circle for an event, uh, open circle for an appointment. Um, and then in my daily pages, I use an asterisk for a memory. Um, I X things out when they're complete. Um, and then here's the um, ABC for signifiers for the Franklin Covey system. So A is something I have to do. B is something I should do. And C is something I could do. Um, and then this is the green highlighter I use for my sun stuff. Um, a gray dot is um, my re weekly reoccurring things that I have to do every week. Um, projects are triangles. Hearts are um, anything to do with my home. Um, an at symbol is from anything at my computer. Um, a money symbol is anything finances based, anything money based. Um, an arrow pointing right is an errand. Um, and then when I, um, let me see if I have one here. I migrate. So, ah, here we go. So I have, oh, here's some. So I have, so like fold laundry, I moved it this way. So I have a, a left pointing arrow there. That means that I either put it on my weekly, for the week, which fold laundry is probably on my weekly. I wouldn't put that on my master list. That's stupid. Like master list is for things that is going to take a while or is not going to happen this month. So fold laundry got a left arrow. So that means I put it on my, I put it this way. A right face, like a right pointing arrow means that I would have moved it this way, which means I either put it on the next day or next week. So that's how I do the migration arrows. Um, I, yeah, I have migrate to master list, um, and then a right pointing a right pointing one is next day or week. I should have put master list or week. But um, this is today. I've been using these little. I've been, I made a couple little tabs for stuff. I've been keeping. My mom bought me a plant for mother's day and i have kept it all live i am so proud of myself my nickname in my family is plant killer and she keeps buying them for me i don't know why There's, she's sending them to their death but i have worked so hard to keep this thing plant alive and it is it's still alive i'm so proud of myself <laughs> it is still alive um and then this is june and my me and my son's birthday are both in june so we have a lot of planning and things going on um, I decorated my insert for my birthday and then I did it for my sons too. Um, and then this is just the rest of the months. Um, they have my 2025 overview, which is a freebie in my freebies folder. Um, this is something I made on mother's day. 
It's just a piece of black cardstock with lamination, and I made a pocket that can hold stickers. And then this side has like a secretarial pocket, and it has um, my PO box information and my a picture of my puppies that have passed. Um, this is my son's divider section. Um, I just I saw this on some on Instagram or something, and I thought it was so funny. I had to find it and print it out. Um, so I just printed it out and stuck it on there. Uh, this is one of my freebies. My son's teachers. Um, this was a card that my husband and my son got me for Mother's Day. My son's school schedule. And then the rest of this is all his health information, which I won't show. That's his personal information. Um, this is my section. I just have a couple Instagram posts that I like that I printed out. Um, these are my planner cards. These are freebies in my print. A lot of this is freebies in my freebies folder. <laughs> um, so, yeah. That is my health information. Um, and then this is my reading section. Another one of those acetates. This is from Crystal Plans. Um, and this is from Peanuts Planner Co. This is her yearly fold out. And I track my reading on it. And I do a grade dot for the days I've read, which I've read every day in 2024 so far. At least a few pages every day. And then I do a line for what I'm currently reading and like when I read it, when I finished it, and when I started it. Um, and... I told my, I, one of the things I said to my husband was, if I read every day in 2024 before my birthday, I want a Kindle Paperwhite for my birthday. So I am in the process of getting that prepared to purchase. So I am very excited because I have the basic, this is the 2019 Kindle, the small Kindle, the, the original Kindle. This is from 2019. This is the 2019 version. So I'm very excited to get the 2021 Kindle Paperwhite because it has the warm light and it has USB because this takes a micro USB charger and it really makes me angry to have to have a separate charger for this thing when I need to charge it. So I like how small it is. I do. And it works perfectly fine except for every once in a while I'll be reading and all of a sudden the pages will like flip on their own. Like, I'm not touching, I, like, because I have a pop socket on it, so I read like this, and I'm not touching anything. And all of a sudden, it'll just start flipping through pages. It's only done probably about 10 pages. That was the most it's ever done. It's not like hundreds of pages, but it just makes me really mad <laughs> that it does that. So I'm excited to get a new one that is, like, three years old. I bought it when it was old already. Like, not it was old, but, like, it had been out for, that version had been out for a while. So I was, I'm really excited to get one that, even though the paperweight has been out for a while, um, just a bigger one, but yeah. Um, so this is my reading log. These are all the books I've read and I do the number, the title, the author, the start date, the end date, and then notes. And then I do my stars are... My stars are um, my overall rating, which I have to change these from hearts to stars because um, I do stars for overall rating and hearts for spiciness. So the stars are my overall rating and the hearts are spiciness because I read a lot of spicy books. Um, this is my 2024 page counter, how many pages I've read so far this year. Um, I'm getting up there, but uh, I fin I was working on the Crave series, and then I got to book, what, three? And I was halfway through it, and I was like, nope, I can't do this anymore. Like, it was one more thing that happened, and I was just like, it was a straw that broke the camel's back. And I was like, it's been nonstop since book one. And I'm like, I just, I would like them to enjoy themselves for a little bit. Like, I would like there to be a reprieve here. Like, I don't want to go, you know, see this person again and, like, figure out something else we have to do. Like, it was just too many things piling up. I was like, I can't do this. This is more stressful than my real life. And I'm just like, this is supposed to be enjoyable, and this is not. 
Um, this is my library card sheet. I rent a lot, a lot of books from Libby app from my local libraries. I have two in the area, so I have two library cards. Um, so I can search and see which library has the shortest wait time on it. I really like renting the ebooks because then I don't have to go somewhere and return a book, a physical book. It's very convenient with a small child and I just really like it. It's easier to do that way. Um, death by TBR, and then you don't have to pay for a bunch of books. So it it works. It saves a bunch of money. Um, death by TBR, it's getting long. I had to add a second page. Um, and then these are all the books that I've got from Stuff Your Kindle Days. Um, this is a freebie in my freebies folder from Fourth Wing, and then this is one that I put on the back. And then this is one of my freebies, another acetate. And then this is my Pokemon Go section. Um, I just added this in. It's the raids for Pokemon Go each month. So I can, I have six months on this side and six months on this side. And it's five star, mega, and then other. Sometimes they release other ones. So I can track each month's raids without having to have it on my monthly. Um, this is my trainer trainer level tracker. Um, I just hit level 40, so now I'm working on 41. Metal progress. Uh, Pokedex. And then I just highlight it when I get it. Um, or when it releases. And I am able to get it. Um, Vavillian progress. I did get the platinum Vavillian metal already, but I'm working on getting the evolutions of each of these now. I have the scatter bug for each one. I'm just working on getting enough candy to evolve each one because the um, the middle evolution takes 25 and then the final evolution takes 100. So I need 125 candies to evolve each of them. So that takes a while when you don't catch these in the wild. <laughs> um, so mega evolutions and then the list of things that you have to do in each of the levels between 40 and 50. And then this is my post-it note folder and then my back page lifter. Um, everything else is the same. I haven't been carrying around stickers anymore. I have a hard time using them or having the bulk in here. I'd much rather just have it be thin and Put the sticker down when I get home if I even need to. So, yeah, that's my planner. Um, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully, I can release another video sometime soon. But with him being home, it's kind of difficult. And he's getting to that point where he doesn't want to take a nap anymore. So, I don't have that time to do it. Um, but yeah, so hopefully, hopefully soon. But I wouldn't hold my breath for a while. Um, I might be able to post like a short on Instagram or maybe a video where I don't speak, but that's going to be just a silent flip through with music or something, but that's going to be about the extent, <laughs> um, until fall next year. So I will try my best to do it. Um, but it might be far and few between. So yeah, but I hope you enjoyed this flip through and I will talk to you guys later.